As a student of film and television at Columbia University in New York in 1960, Krishna Swami was provoked when an insulting and derogatory American documentary on India was screened. He made a commitment on the spot to his peers to return to India and make authentic films on Indian history and culture. His vow as a student had become a deep commitment and so, against many odds and without any form of sponsorship, he launched his dream project, a four-hour film on Indian history which he eventually titled Indus Valley to Indira Gandhi, indicating the five millennia of the story of India. Dr. Krishna Swami's uh, Indus Valley to Indira Gandhi in those days used to be a stock for all of us. All of us had to see it, should see it, see it as many times for you to know what history which has not been taught to you. That was the first ever well-documented, movie-based history narrative which was made in a fashion in which all of us could see it and benefit from it. So that was a great service rendered and uh, those are the kind of things I think India has always been proud of. The first Indian film to be distributed under the internationally renowned banner of Warner Brothers. Not everyone was charmed by Sir Kenneth Clarke's TV series Civilization. What put them off was Sir Kenneth's implication that the Mediterranean basin has been the main cradle of human culture and progress. Krishnaswamy's film proves a corrective to the cultural myopia. The day one he had an objective before him. He did not go into film making for money making. He made those films which were historically important, culturally significant and also leaving a message for the nation. A different pilgrimage reveals several hundred stupendous Hindu temples, a thousand years old, besides mammoth Buddhist monuments in Indonesia, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam. Are you aware that the world's largest stone temple is Angkor Wat in Cambodia, built 900 years ago for the Hindu god Vishnu? Did you know that even today an unbroken tradition of daily worship over a thousand years is followed in some of the Hindu temples in Vietnam and Thailand? The Indian epic Ramayana is performed as a ballet every evening in Indonesia throughout the year. His uh, contribution in the Southeast Asia would merit, in my opinion, his decorating Padma Bhushan and Padma Vibhushan. Maybe, you know, I think you deserve Bharatanda much more. To mark the golden jubilee of Indian independence, Krishnaswami Associates made India 5555. The White House chose to screen it for the American President Bill Clinton as part of his orientation to visit India. Conceptually brilliant, eloquently brought out, viewing it is a rewarding experience. A brilliant exposition of India through the ages, a source of education for anybody. In their last days, Rajaji and Kamaraj came together for the first time in an attempt to set right the wrongs they considered they had done to their state by their mutual differences. Neither of them lived long enough to achieve this. A documentary on the history of the Kanchi Shankaracharya Mutt from Adi Shankara to its 68th head, Sri Chandrasekharendra Saraswati Swami. The Kanaka Vishegam of the most revered Paramacharya as part of his birth centenary celebrations was a historic event in the annals of Sanatana Dharma in recent centuries. He took on an astonishing variety of topics, big, big issues spanning the economic, social, political, cultural, aesthetic and indeed literary dimensions. I want to salute the independence and integrity of uh, this man of creative distinction. It's impossible to write history in one piece which is acceptable to everyone. It is in that context that the contribution made by Dr. Krishnaswamy to impress upon the younger generation the greatness of our country is very important. Swami Vivekananda in 52 dramatized television episodes getting a huge viewership.
sisters and brothers of America. He continued making dozens of educational films, science films, engineering and medical films, corporate films, motivational and training films, besides tourist promotion films. His company diversified into the production of TV serials based on fiction. Nalladur Vine, based on Sahitya Academy Award winner Jayakantan's novel. <laughs> இந்த நல்லதோர் வினையை பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் நான் எழுதிய நாவலை விடவும் இதன் படமாக்கம் எனக்கு திருப்தி தருகிறது சக்தி சம் ஆஃப் ஜெயகாந்தன்ஸ் சோசன் ஷோர்ட் ஸ்டோரிஸ் மேட் இன் ஹிந்தி வித் சதன் ஆம்பியன்ஸ் உபாசனா ட்வெண்ட்டி டூ எபிசோட் ஹிந்தி டிவி சீரியல் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த தமிழ் ட்வின் எபிக்ஸ் சிலப்பதிகாரம் அண்ட் மணிமேகலை Krishna Swami's team also produced two art-based TV serials totaling 33 episodes both of which have won awards at the US International Film and Video Festival. With Tamil lyrics by Dr. S Krishna Swami, choreographed and performed by Lata and Geeta Savitri receives all our felicitations for being on a new level of joyful experience for the Tamil language and arts. Kalane kandu ni anjavilai Kandali ni thudi siridum illai Kulayavillai unnenjurudi Kulayavillai Among the many recognitions that Dr. Krishna Swami has received are Padma Shri Award from the President of India in 2009. The Lifetime Achievement Award from the US International Film and Video Festival Los Angeles in 2005. And the Honor Sammas Award of the Watamul Foundation Hawaii in 1987. take this opportunity to again congratulate krishna swami associates dr s krishna swami individually and his colleagues and wish them the very best for the future thank you his autobiography titled an unlikely chemistry was released when he turned 80 in 2018 crafted to be so very readable essential reading to understand modern india this is more than just an autobiography It is an account of the social and cultural history of India and its cultural impact on Southeast Asia. He believes in a life of values and he loves the great ideals of Indian nation. That has made him a very, very dear person to us.